Hello and welcome back to <laughs> uh, it's a big deal. We are um, potentially finishing what is the current game. Um, there's a few things we're going to have to do before we go question mark. I have no idea what to expect here. I have like remained very unspoiled on what comes next. But uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Tell me about the signal. The, the creature has been made. What now? The creature is born, and you are bonded? What work? You are a sterling shaper of world, Nimashram, and I've nothing left to give you but my praise. Now, our operators at Amanpork confirm that a clash with the Templar is inevitable. This is a grim fact, but it does give space for your bond to flower. <clears throat> Go become familiar with leading and piloting your creature. Return when you are ready. And we will finally go starward. I will, Barathrum, live and drink. So we have another clash with the Petus Templar. Um, I will teleport to the court of the Sultans. Uh, although, actually, before we do that, um, uh, I don't have any of my recoilers. Bummer. Okay, hold on. Can we do it from here? Yeah, we can recoil from here. I wonder what happens if we recoil from inside the golem. Is that going to cause problems? Let's find out. Seems okay. I have a funny feeling that at one point that was not okay. <laughs> uh, let's talk to J Jacobo. No, not Jacobo. Math Mafio. Mafio might have some missiles for us. He does not. Okay, um, I need to buy a ton of missiles. Um, wondering if I should like drop all my recoilers or just do it from here. Let's go to Eid Freehold. I want the, I want the swarm rack to, uh, you know, be useful. Can I, should I tell it to follow me? Direct follower to enter. No. Um, direct this to move to stay there. Follow distance. Close. Is it just very slow? What's the deal? I guess it must be very slow compared to me. <laughs> is it? Is it supposed to be moving right now? It's not moving at all. <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me try something. Um. Direct to move, like, there. Is, is it straight up just not moving? I don't know what the deal is. Alright, well, we're gonna buy... We're, we're coming down here. We're gonna buy some missiles. It looks like all of our, our stocks, or shops have restocked. Uh, I don't think that any of the beps are going to have missiles so we're just going to go and talk to tilly i don't know what the deal is with our golem they don't seem to be moving at all i sure hope that's not a problem that i have caused hampered oh that's right they probably don't have heavy weapons huh and getting them that skill would be really difficult because they are technically like level 40 or something insane like that. Still, uh, I, am I really committing to this? That extra bit of information is actually uh, kind of... Hmm, maybe I just want to stick to using the pistols. I don't know. Will they gain that much accuracy? I think they lose a little bit of movement speed. It's only like 25, right? I mean, that's a lot. Let's be honest. It's a lot of movement speed, but it's not a lot compared to, you know, the grand scheme of things. Let's just, uh, let's commit to this for now. And then I might change my mind in a second. Um, I'm going to be buying up all HE missiles. Actually, can we make HE missiles? I didn't even think of that. Okay, I don't know what the deal is with this mecha power core. Um, 
No, we can't make HE missiles. That's interesting. Hold on a second. Give me, give me one second. Um, do I have any bananas? We have one extra dimensional banana. I don't think we have any bananas. Ah, okay, hold on. Let's go back to Ezra. Uh, ironically, this is where we're supposed to be anyway. Okay. Psychometry. And um, we're going to learn how to make... Wait, where's all of our HE missiles? Did I not buy any? My god, I'm just like making all kind. I thought I bought some. Uh, did I like automatically disassemble them? I really hope I'm not accidentally disassembling my HE missiles. Okay, hold on a second. Look. All right. Um, buy them. I, I, I'm disassembling them. I'm automatically disassembling them. And so how do I set something not to disassemble? Um, I guess what we can... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, automation. Um, automatically disassemble scrap. There we go. So now I just need to buy another one. There, there it is. There it is. Buy it. All right, I should have it now. Yep. Stop treating these as scrap. Read into their uh, history. Cool. Now we've got the ability to make HE missiles. Go ahead and drop this one, and we're going to make a ton of them. I Well, okay, before we do that, actually, let's just make sure that this is the correct thing, because I, I don't know if HE missiles are is actually the correct ammo type. No, it is. It super is. Okay, so exit pilot seat. Okay. HE missiles. Um, let's make a bunch of them. Oh, you make five every time you do it. Okay, that's good. We're going to make a ton of them. And remember, uh, there's like no flaw to this at all because um, the golem has like a ridiculous carry capacity. I'm also going to make like two handy nukes. I have never used them and maybe I shouldn't use them, but... Wondering if I should use uh, also make some leyline puppeteers. Eh, I don't know. Okay, we're overburdened. That is not surprising. Um, is the game crashing? I can't. I can't move, and I cannot do anything. Oh, here we go. Okay, now drop all of these. Um, and also drop the handy nukes. Actually, I suppose what we should do is drop a few other nukes as well. Or like, not just nukes, but like... Flashbangs. Plasma grenades. Uh, I probably should make some, um... Freeze grenades. I'm not going to be shy about this. I'm also going to make some high explosive grenades. I can't believe we don't have Mark 3s. It just uh, it needs a second cuz all of that tinkering actually takes time. And so it has to like pass all that time. Okay. So then we drop all of these, drop all of these, drop all of those. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Now, whoops. Oh, do we still have a pickaxe equipped? We do. Um, I don't know. I honestly feel like 
we are stronger than our golem. <laughs> okay, so enter. And now pick all these up. That does uh, weigh us down quite a bit. And now pick all these up. We're pretty close to encumbered, but hey, look. A full swarm rack. A full swarm rack. Okay. Um, I think we're pretty much good to go. I don't know if there's anything left to, to do. Like, the other... The obvious things are like... Try and get some more gigantic items. Try and, you know, this and that. But like... I don't know if there's really anything else we should or can do. Maybe I'm wrong, but hey, we're here. Um, what are we supposed to be doing? Talk to our lad here? No. Talk to our Shembot? No. Uh, let's just look at our quest. Uh, yeah, I accidentally gave us what's eating the water vine again. Uh, I'm not seeing a quest, actually. Hold on, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to Barathrum study. Not sure what I'm meant to do. Um, I am ready to ascend the spindle. Are you sure? Our fates are not reverse, uh, reversible past the next event horizon. We go. We go. I... What is it? I heave. I heave the weight of ass across my crutch. What? But the bones are pull proof. My bones inoculate to this grotto. Or rather, this grotto. This world is what my bones are. Can an old bear divest of his spine? Leave it to mosses and the sun strung birds? I. No matter. The will can break the wheel, too. We go, pray. Pray the weight loss of the rise might do good for me. Past the shell of the world. I'm to understand one's burdens can no longer pull them down. You have received a new quest. We are Star Freight. Um, <laughs> prepare to ascend. Get Barathrum in the golem. Okay, how, do, how does one do that? Um, Barathrum? I'm wondering if I could, like, pick him up. Can I just, like, get him? Chat. Uh, how do we do it? Get Barathrum in the Golem. Um, direct to move? Maybe I have to tell the Golem to pick him up? Direct follower to enter. Ah, there we go. Uh, is it working? <laughs> it's so hard to tell because I have like... I, I, I feel like not everything is working as intended right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, um, it's it's it doesn't seem to be working. Direct to, direct follower to enter. I mean, for one thing, the golem doesn't seem to be moving. I know I have 240 move speed, but they should be moving at all. Um. Wait, oh, you know what? I know what's up. I'm sorry. This is my bad. I think I have Calm on. Yeah, Calm was on. You have finished the step. Prepare to ascend. Okay. Barathrum's in it now. Uh, that's, sorry about that. That was silly of me. I had to do that because... Uh, uh, Barathrum and, and Quark, whatever his name is, were, were attacking each other. Okay, so... Engage the ascension mechanisms of the spindle. It says unfinished, so this, you know, we might not see much here. But we're, we're going to try anyway. Let me just see if, uh, yeah, Barathrum's in, this, in the seat with me. You have received a new quest, Reclamation. We have Pewtis Templar here. We have new music also. Okay. So, um, we're just gonna fight some, some, do what we do best, you know? I kind of wish I tattooed the golem to be a different color. I'm not going to use the swarm rack in the presence of so many friends. I will destroy everything. Okay. That seems to be most of the Pewtis Templar right now. I, I wish the Asphalite or whatever they're called would stop hitting me. We've got one more Pewtis Templar over here. Oh, no, we've got a few over here, actually. I could use the Swarm Rack now. Ooh, okay, we've got an actual mech. The range should be sufficiently short that I don't da damage anyone I care about. Let's, let's do it. Ow. We're taking some major damage. Okay, what's going on here? Hold on. Um, I feel like I'm taking damage mostly from my own stuff. Okay, I don't want my golem to get destroyed here. Let's uh, let's do. Oh, is this a? Okay, hold on. This might be one of those indestructible things. No, they are. Very destructible. Okay, um... Maybe the swarm rack was a bad idea. I'm gonna say it right now. Let's, uh... Let's do, like, a discharge on this guy. Oh, yeah, let's do a waveform dash. How about that? Zoop! That did some nice damage to them. It's got a pretty short cooldown, I gotta say. Um, let's... We're in... Let's go into dueling stance and swipe. Yeah, I mean, melee damage is pretty damn good in the golem, I gotta say. Okay, the uh, Pewtis Templar has ejected. Oh, we've got a legendary. What's their what's their reputation? Not that it matters. But uh oh okay, they they actually hit pretty hard. Let's go ahead and swipe their weapon out of their hand. And also, let's go into unguard mode. Swipe. Uh swipe. You have finished the step, defeat implanted obsospard 
<laughs> Fikwebeth, Knight Commander of the Holy Temple. It would be nice if they had dropped uh, gigantic stuff. Okay, it seems we're pretty done. Can, does the golem regenerate? It does, but very slowly. Which makes sense. I mean, it's got 857 health. Uh, let's see what our current quest is. Defeat implanted Darian Flobert, Knight Commander. Okay, so we have to defeat a bunch of different mechs. I wonder if the golem can use like tonics and stuff like that. I feel like uh, I feel like I got it and put myself in a little bit of danger with that swarm rack. This takes a long time. So where do we go now? Uh oh. The aching world moan of the Nephilim resounds and your body throbs in the electric air. It has arrived to the west. Okay. Is it in Ezra? Wait. Leaving the battlefield may give the Templar time to regroup and re result in more Barathermite casualties. Proceed? No. Oh, we have more lads over here. Ow. Well, you killed your own lad, dude. Um, on guard. Swipe. 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 Does some really good damage. Very good reputation with a bunch of different villages. Uh, was that another lad that I had to kill? No. Beast slouching. Oh, there's a bunch of creatures I have to kill. I'm not sure if I'm in the right area. Okay, well, uh, I'm a little bit confused as to what I'm meant to do. It says it arrived to the west, but I, I, I kind of checked out west. Um, I wish I could do like a clairvoyance right now. Okay, so that that's pretty definitive. We do not leave. We do not go south. You're dying of thirst. Oh God, I need to uh, give our golem some water. I guess while I'm doing this, um, actually, let me just, uh, what I'll do instead is I'm going to drop the cider and then we're going to sell it to, uh, six shrew and then we'll get some more water that way. Uh, is there anything else I need to drop here? Let's drop some tonics, like most of them. Let's like drop like 30 tonics. I don't know if the golem can gain, um, you know, effects from like cooked meals. Like I have a lot of questions that I don't, I, I don't fully understand the, uh, the golem, very new stuff, but all right, I'm going to drop all that stuff and then enter. Take all that. Um, we're dying of thirst, but that's okay. We'll go and, um, sell the six shrew. I know, I know. Hey, six shrew, could you, uh, spare me some water? I'll sell you this. Oh, I, I guess I need a water skin, huh? 
shoot. Always something. All right, before you do that, let me just like sell you this stuff. Let me buy some water skins and then, um, yeah, go ahead and sell me that or, or give me all that water. Cool. Let me try using a salve. Yeah, okay, the, the golem is super cool with salves. So then let's just go west and see what happens, see what we see. I wish we had clairvoyance. I'm gonna miss clairvoyance, good lord. Oops. Okay, so we can't leave this direction either. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. What was that? Oh, that was a gibbon. Doing their gibbon thing. Let me just like explore this tile. Do you have to forgive me? I I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, I may have just accidentally given our golem the stupid uh, monochrome disease. Let's uh let's see if we can deal with that. Um can we cook? Golem cannot cook. Golem cannot make a campfire. But I can. Um let's go and uh chew cook from a recipe. I know this is so silly. Now I go back to our golem. Enter. Do I still have that effect if I'm in the golem? No. So I'm I, I just gave our golem monochrome by accident. Oh my god. You don't have the cooking and gathering skill. The golem can't cook a meal. Uh, does the golem have any skill points? No. They just have long blade. I should have built the golem better. I should have been a bit smarter about it. Okay, let's just explore this zone. Maybe let's check out the other door. Nope. Okay, let's check out an okay yeah here we go there, there's there's more over here ouch uh let's do let's get over here and do a waveform dash we we, we actually that was like just exactly perfect um unguard swipe i'm just gonna kill that lad and then we're gonna swipe Kill this mecha. Um, not sure. Not sure if what we're doing is super effective, but you know, it's effective enough. Just seeing if there's anything else, any other things we can do to, to you know, Ow, that hurts a lot. If they actually, oh, they have proton beams. Okay. I would have thought, I guess you can't disarm them, which is a shame. I would love to get whatever they're using. Okay, so that's them ejected. Frozen solid. They're hitting me with an energy beam. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a blaze injector. They have a, I think they had a freeze ray. Okay, we've got our, uh, another legendary Pewtis Templar over there. They've come armed with uh, some various strange creatures. Let's start with a waveform dash. Honestly, we could just like continue doing that. The the cooldown is 
short enough. Um, but yeah, let's do uh, on guard and in swipe. This this just works so well because it instantly gets rid of their weapon, and we do a lot of damage. We'll waveform dash through them. The nice thing about the waveform dash is it goes through a bunch of units at once. Okay, so that's another one of them dead. Svardim are indifferent to me. Nice. Okay. Um, nothing to take? I disagree. Okay, um, let's uh, take a salve. That helps a lot. <laughs> you got stuck in uh, some red dacas, huh? That sucks for you. That, I think that's one of those immortal ones. I need to find whoever. Okay, there they are. They they like to hide. Oh, let's let's not um, immolate ourselves by accident. There we go. They're dead. Okay. Um. So that's another one of them dead. I don't want to leave the battlefield. I don't know why it keeps doing that i'm i'm not sure oh carrying too much to move wow we over encumbered the the golem let's just go ahead and drop all of this stuff because i don't care about it we can't leave here oh we can leave here we have a legendary robot of some kind Domesticated phase cannon tinkerer. There's definitely more Pewtis Templar here. That that guy died pretty easily. Ooh, we got a gal gal. That scares me. Well, this is my first time fighting a gal gal. Um, this guy is a grand new father. I think he's on our, our hit list. So let's go ahead and swipe them dead. They died. They didn't seem to, we didn't get a quest from that. You're carrying too much again. Stop, stop picking stuff up, golem. Stop it. In fact, don't even pick these things up. Oh, we're picking up chain pistols. No, drop those. And the freeze ray, which has a thermoelectric cell, ironically. Um, tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave the golem just so I can clairvoyance. And we're gonna... We're gonna do it this way for a moment. No, don't proceed. Okay, um, can we continue? Oh, don't use the swarm rack near me, golem. You silly goose. Okay, enter. Looks like I have to I have to take a firm hand to our golem. We I don't think we can continue going east, can we? I really do not want to fight the gal gal. Okay, we don't have to go. I guess if they're trapped in a DACA. Oh, no, they're friendly with us now. Cool. Not sure what the deal was. Sorry, I'm not going to go to lengths to protect the Urshib. I wonder if I have to go north from here? Yeah, okay. There's stuff going on here. Uh, and again, I think I would like to just do a clairvoyance. Not seeing anyone here. So let's just wait 30 turns. And then psychic presence. Oh no. Oh god, and it's a gal gal. Um 
Could we possibly not fight that thing? Very tough. Can we sunder mind? Uh, doesn't seem like it. I would really prefer not to fight that thing. So I'm going to leave. Actually, that, uh, that was very convenient right there. And okay. So the the lesson here is that you need to um you need to basically explore all around the the spindle in order to find all of the things you are trying to kill. Now, Golem, why did you activate your sprint mode? I am uh I'm activating clairvoyance almost out of pure laziness. Blurred vision, god damn it. Just to like try and find all of the critters and creatures. Oh god. Legendary great salt back. And they're a tortoise and they're loved by dromad merchants. No. Please. Please. This now is not the time. Oh god. My golem is... I, I should not have given them a swarm rack. Do not give your golem a swarm rack. It might sound really cool, but it, it is it potentially going to get me killed. How many more things do we have to kill? Three more things. I'm having a hard time finding them. Uh, whoops. No, that's not it. Clairvoyance. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll just like walk to the other side. But then I remembered that my golem is like instantly going to use the swarm rack to fight every single tree on this screen. Oh, here we go. Um, would love to not have to fight that impossible creature. I see where they went. They went south. Let's go ahead and actually sprint. Ah, stupid, <laughs> stupid yonder. You, you, uh, probably cost me some extra Urshib helpers. All right, let's got rid of that guy. We have our legendary over here. All right, on guard, swipe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just killed all the... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I just killed every single breath or my around me. I was in a, I was in aggressive mode. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. That sucks so much. Okay, let's deal with this guy. On guard is really good, by the way. I haven't really said anything about it, but I'm really appreciating it. 87 damage from discharge is also really good. Okay, no legendary uh, in that. Lad, oh god, it's gonna become nighttime and this is gonna be even more difficult. Okay, let's just uh do our old escape and clairvoyance and uh not really seeing any one. So we enter. I'm just gonna walk across this. This is a pretty cool quest. I mean, it feels like a repeat in some ways. I mean, in some ways, not in all ways, of course, uh, to the Pewdest Templar invasion. 
Um, so it's a cool kind of almost callback. All right, uh, not here. We're running out of uh, places to explore. We haven't explored this zone. There's shaking, so I have to assume that means that we have some uh, some lads here. Let's, uh, clairvoyance. No, that was just a tree uh, stunning something. We could probably stand a tonic. Dude, we, we really have no excuse not to use those. Um, oh, we don't have clairvoyance back. Oh, no! No! <laughs> the swarm wreck. The swarm wreck killed us. I just wanted to clairvoyance. I, I am actually dead. I can't believe it. There is absolutely no reason for us to die there. Oh god. After all that, I was right at the very end and there is no reason for us to die and the golem killed us with a swarm rank. I just had to give it a swarm rank, didn't I? You know, the worst part is I, so I only wanted to clairvoyance so I could find the, the mech and the mech found us. But if I just like put our force bubble up first, I probably would have survived. <sighs> well, Most advanced artifact in your possession was a jacked refractive two-faced psychodyne helmet. I cannot believe we died. I can't believe it. So much effort completely wasted with like one slip. Uh, all right, well, um, you know, pour your drams out in the comments and, uh, I guess I will see you next series, which uh, I will be taking a break for myself. Um, I do have a plan to start a new series, uh, with another, uh, co-host pretty soon. So I'll look forward to that on the horizon no uh no hints given <sighs> have a good one take it easy